lesson we're going to go over an exchange rate quiz that I recently gave my IB year two economics students. In this quiz we are given the following question. Number one, the current exchange rate of US dollars in Mexico is 10 pesos per dollar. Assume the United States, which is currently producing a close to its full employment level of output, engages in expansionary fiscal policy. Illustrate and explain the effect that this will have on A, the market for Mexican pesos in the United States. So before we begin answering this question, we need to first draw our diagram for Mexican pesos in the United States. The diagram is, has been illustrated on the right here. We need to add some labels to this graph. So let's look at the vertical axis first. This is the market for pesos. Therefore, the graph should be showing the dollar value of pesos. So the appropriate label for our vertical axis is dollars per peso or dollar over P. Of course, since this is the market for peso, the demand curve should be labeled DP, the demand for pesos, and the supply curve SP, the supply of pesos. Quantity axis should be labeled QP, indicating that this graph shows the quantity of pesos. Now, we can also add our equilibrium exchange rate to this graph. However, we don't actually know the dollar price of a peso because we're given the peso price of a dollar. We know that one dollar costs 10 pesos. But using this, we can determine how much one peso costs in terms of dollars. Of course, an exchange rate is always the inverse of the other currency's exchange rate. Therefore, the dollar price of one peso is 0 0.1 dollars per peso. So we can label our equilibrium exchange rate as 0 0.1. Let's just call our equilibrium quantity QE. Now we can look at the question and figure out how the change in American fiscal policy leads to a change in the exchange rate of the peso in the United States. So let's look at what's going on in this problem. The question says that the US, which is producing at close to its full employment level, engages in an expansionary fiscal policy. So to understand how this might affect the country's exchange rate, let's do a quick sketch of an aggregate demand aggregate supply diagram represented the United States, indicating that this economy is currently approaching full employment with a stable price level of P1. How will an expansionary fiscal policy affect the U.S. macroeconomy? First of all, let's review what is an expansionary fiscal policy. This could be an increase in government spending or a decrease in taxes. Both of these factors will affect one of the components of aggregate demand. A decrease, in a decrease in taxes will lead to an increase in household consumption. And the increase in government spending, of course, is a direct injection into the nation's economy. The increase in government spending and the increase in household consumption will lead to an increase in aggregate demand in the United States. This can be illustrated as an outward shift of aggregate demand. Assuming the economy is already producing at or close to its full employment level, this outward shift in aggregate demand should have two effects. Firstly, there will be a relatively small increase in national output. There will be a relatively large increase in the price level from P1 to P2. Expansionary fiscal policy, when an economy is already at its full employment level, leads to domestic inflation. Now, expansionary fiscal policy, when an economy is already close to or at its full employment level of output, leads to an increase in the domestic price level and a smaller increase in national income. Now we can look back at our market for Mexican pesos in the United States. If we recall earlier in this unit, we discussed the determinants of exchange rates. Two of the determinants of exchange rates discussed are relative price levels and relative income levels. Now two things are changing in the United States that should have an effect on the market for Mexican pesos. There is domestic inflation and domestic incomes are rising. Both of these will lead to an increase in the demand for Mexican goods. Because of the relatively high inflation in the United States, Mexican, could, Mexican goods now appear more attractive to American households. Because of rising incomes in the United States, American households will demand more imports, which again leads to an increase in the demand for Mexican goods and therefore an increase in the demand for Mexican pesos. We can assume that this increase in demand for Mexican pesos will cause an appreciation of the Mexican peso perhaps from 0 0.1 to 0 
At the higher exchange rate, Mexican households will be willing to supply a greater quantity of Mexican pesos to Americans than the Mexican currency the peso appreciates. Let's scroll down and look at Part B of this question. Part B of the same question asks, asks for an explanation and an illustration of how the expansionary fiscal policy in the United States affects the market for U.S. dollars in Mexico. Before we explain how this expansionary fiscal policy affects the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar, let's fill in our labels on our graph here. Now we're looking at the market for dollars in Mexico. Of course, the exchange rate of the dollar is expressed in terms of pesos, so our vertical axis should be labeled P over dollars. That's pesos per dollar. Now we were given this exchange rate in the original question. We were told that currently the, pay, the dollar is trading at 10 pesos per dollar. So our equilibrium exchange rate is 10 pesos per dollar. Our equilibrium quantity we'll call QE. And since this is the market for dollars, we can label our curves as follows. Supply dollars and demand dollars. And the quantity axis, of course, is the quantity of dollars. Now let's go back and talk about how the expansionary fiscal policy affected the market for pesos. And then we can determine how it affects the market for dollars in Mexico. Because of rising incomes and because of domestic inflation, American households will demand more Mexican goods. This led to an increase in the demand for pesos in our graph above. In order to acquire these Mexican imports, the United States must supply more dollars to the Mexican market. So as we can see, the increase in demand for pesos in our first graph corresponds with an increase in the supply of dollars in this graph to S$1. As the dollars enter the forex market in Mexico, they become less scarce and the dollar becomes weaker. The exchange rate falls and the quantity demanded of dollars in Mexico increases since at the lower exchange rate, American goods become more attractive to Mexican households. Now, what is the new exchange rate for dollars in Mexico? We saw that when the demand for pesos increased in our graph above, the peso appreciated from $0.1 per peso to $0.12 per peso. Of course, the new exchange rate for dollars will be the inverse of 0 0.12, which is approximately 8.3. So we can see that the inflow of dollars into the Mexican Forex market led to a depreciation of the dollar. Of course, this was because the rising consumption and rising imports in the United States led to an increase in demand for pesos and an increase in supply of dollars in Mexico, which caused the exchange rate of the dollar to fall and the exchange rate of the peso to rise. So now we've answered this question very clearly. We've seen that an expansionary fiscal policy causes inflation in the United States, causes domestic incomes to rise, and therefore causes an increase in demand for imports from Mexico in the United States, causing demand for pesos to rise and the peso to appreciate. In order to acquire these pesos, American households had to supply more of their dollars in Mexico. Therefore, the supply of dollars increased and the dollar depreciated.